the encaustic mixed media artist behind Studio Stacy. If you are new around here, welcome. If you are a returning viewer, welcome back. Um, I believe, I think, I have decided to try to do Vlogmas. Now, I can't promise I'm going to completely keep up with it, but I think I'm gonna really try. I'm hoping to shoot a video every day, starting today, December 1st, all the way through December 25th, or up until December 25th. Um, so, let's see if I can do it. Hopefully, you will stay tuned and stick with me. I apparently am in the mood to clean out portions of the studio. So all those books back there came from underneath one of my cabinets on a shelf that I keep old um, vintage books and things like that from. And I'm gonna be going through, I've sorted through most of the books and figured out what books I definitely completely wanna keep. And then those back there are books that I wanna go through further and I will probably tear some things out of them. Don't judge, I know some of you will be completely appalled by me tearing apart a book. However, I do use them in my collage. Um, if you missed last week's video, I'll link it up there somewhere. And that'll show you me collaging with old book materials and various other things, but um, I do use them. Okay, some of these, um I have not torn apart at all. And as you can see, they're in pretty good shape. So those that are in good shape, I'm gonna put into a donate pile and take them up to one of the donation centers. And other books you can see, I have either like totally <laughs> torn off the covers, um, you know, just they're, I've done stuff to them already. This one I've cut um, words out of. So these I'm gonna go through and um, figure out what else, if anything, I want out of them and then go from there. I wanted to um, just talk about briefly copyright stuff with these books and I am by no means an expert, but I do know very, basics of copywriting or at least kind of how I feel about it. So basically if I were to tear out, um, like this is happens to be from Alice in Wonderland. So if I were to tear out this um, illustration here, or this drawing picture and completely use this, not alter it in any way, um, then that would, I would think, be a copyright infringement based on the illustrator. Same thing as if I were to um, pull out, say, an exact um, verbiage from the book and use this complete um, verbiage without, again, altering it or giving credit to where credit was due. So sometimes, and, and when I'm flipping through these books, I'm looking for like one word or two words or maybe like a short phrase. <laughs> Um, you know, like who stole the tarts is kind of interesting. Maybe I just want to do who stole or the tarts or something like that, just for example. But I also like to, um, when I look at the images, I'm looking for like a pattern. So maybe I'll cover up a portion of it and look at like, okay, maybe this area is really interesting to me. Or oftentimes I will flip the entire book over, especially if there's a lot of illustrations in it, and that will kind of take your eye away from the walrus here and maybe just really your eye will pick up on certain patterns. So um, just a little hints and tidbits if you are also an artist looking for collage material and um, can't kind of get away from the actual exact image, sometimes flipping them over helps. So I'm going to keep flipping through these books and tearing out some images and um, yeah, go from there. We'll pick you guys up in a bit.
All right, so I've gone through all of the books, but now I'm trying to decide what to do with the ones that I can't donate, the ones that I've torn pages out, and um, you know, you can't just donate those. Somebody's gonna start reading a book and find out the page 147 is missing and not know what happened. Um, so at any rate, I am trying to figure out what to do with them. Um, I've looked up to see if I can recycle them and it doesn't look like you can recycle old books. If anybody knows for sure, if you will let me know down there below in the comments, that would be great. Also, if you're an artist and are interested in any collage material, I was thinking maybe I could put um, a packet together or if you were interested in an entire book. Um, the only thing is I would just need you to pay for shipping. So I was thinking maybe I could um, tear out some more pages of books, just you know, send you random pages from random different books and put it together in a uh, flat rate envelope. And I think those are like eight or nine dollars to ship anywhere, US only, sorry guys. Um, or if you were interested in an entire book, I could put it in a box, but I'm not sure how much shipping that would be. So. I'm toying around with this idea. I'm going to think a little bit more on it and um, I'm going to take a break and have some lunch and then um, I get back to going through this. And I have some more bins that I also might go through and sort through some of those and kind of keep certain um, pages or papers rather so that if anybody is interested in a flat rate envelope collage pack, then I can kind of put a few together and see if I have enough for that or... Um, yeah, I'm going to stop rambling now and maybe I can think through this a little bit more. But um, if you have any suggestions of what to do with entire books that have pages missing or, you know, half pages ripped out, things like that, let me know down below. And if you would be interested in some collage material, also let me know that down below. Okay, see you in a bit. Okay, I'm back from lunch and behind these barn doors, are where I keep my collage bins or the bins full of collage material. So I'm gonna get those out and go through those and then I think I'm gonna try to decide after I sort through all that if I'm gonna offer um, collage packs or not. So um, let's do that. So I'm gonna flip the camera around and explain the method to this paper sorting madness, or at least my method to this paper sorting madness. Okay, so I decided to split the piles up into uh, categories, if you will. So this is basically um, tissue paper and blank paper, aside from that piece. This is tissue paper and blank paper now. This is handwriting. This is, of course, pattern paper. Um, by pattern paper, I mean like the sewing, the clear sewing papers or the, the packets like that. Uh, this is tea bags, napkins. This is book pages or book pages printed on different things like pattern paper, or brown bags, things like that. And then just regular book paper and also some um, book parts, like I've got some spines in there and things like that. Then this is all photos, whether they're my photos or printed photographs, but all photos. And I think the last category here so far, this is um, collage papers, papers that I've made either using ink or um, just scribble marks, just all random collage papers. Okay, going by the large stack of the large mess behind me there, I don't know if you can clearly see that. I'll flip the camera on and show you in greater detail here. 
but I clearly have enough paper and collage materials to go around to multiple people. So if you are interested in a collage pack, leave me a comment down below that, th that you're interested. I will try to reach out to you, or if you want, probably better yet, is to contact me via email. I'll try to remember to put my email down there. Um, at the very least, you can get a hold of me via my website. And then we can um, iron out all the details as far as getting your address. I don't want you to put your address down below. Please don't put any of your personal information down there. And then, um, yeah, we can iron out the details. I can get you the shipping information, but what I'm thinking is I can probably do flat rate shipping and um, you can just send me money via PayPal so that it's nice and secure and nobody has to worry about unsecure payments either. I can't believe it has taken me most of the day <laughs> to sort through some stacks of paper. I'm gonna keep going and sorting, hopefully you get most of it done today. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video, even though there wasn't much to it, I feel like. Um, I don't know, I just have a sort of papers all day. <laughs> But um, hopefully you did enjoy it. If you did and wouldn't mind giving it a great big thumbs up, I would so very much appreciate it. More Vlogmas videos coming at you. Hopefully there will be a little bit more creating in some of them, but who knows. As always, thanks so very much for coming along. We will see you tomorrow, hopefully. <laughs> Anyways, thanks so much for coming along. We'll talk to you soon. And bye for now.